Okay guys, in this video I'm going to be answering the question Does Keto work for weight loss? And I'm going to be talking a little bit about how Keto helped me get from this to this. <laughs> I'm Steve, this is Life at the White House, let's get into it. Okay guys, so did keto did it work for me uh, for me yes it was absolutely amazing the best thing that I think I ever did with my weight loss now in these two pictures that is a difference there are about a hundred pounds um, and I followed a specific program that was so helpful it was amazing they laid out everything for me um, exactly what I needed to eat my carbs my proteins my fats everything it was amazing and what I've done is I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out but for me it was so helpful I made everything so straightforward it was unbelievable so yeah it's linked in the description down there um, when you click on that link if you want to check it out there's a little video basically just explaining what keto is um, and then you put in some information about how active you are and what you like to eat so your meats and your veggies uh, and then after that you stick in your age your height your weight and your target weight um, and then it will give you your summary so the plan will give you how many calories you should be eating in a day uh, it will give you what you need to be consuming with your fats your proteins and your carbs along with a few of the bits and bobs um, like your how much water you should be drinking things like that and then your achievable 30 day weight which I think is um, is really motivating um, and then you click for your plan it tells you what you're going to get and um, you put in your name and your email and then you can get started um, but yeah it was so helpful to me guys so I thought I'd link it in the description if you want to check out if you're thinking that keto is the answer for you or you want to um, lose a bit of weight and you think that keto is the way you want to go for me this plan and these guys helped no end so I just thought I'd recommend them it's linked in the description I think it cost me I think it cost me $37 and that was the best $37 I ever spent. It helped me so, so much. And I mean, I lost over £100. So it helped me no end. So if you want to check it out, links in the description. Yeah, you can go check it out there. Okay, guys. So what is keto? What is the keto diet? So, simply put, um, the keto diet is very, very low carb, it's moderate in proteins, and it's high in fats. So, in a normal uh, um, diet, what you, you know when you get the food pyramid? Um, at the base of that pyramid, there'll be carbs, and then proteins, and then your fats, at the top in the little triangle. Um, but in the keto diet, that's kind of almost turned on its head. So, um, the base will be fat, but percentage-wise, what we're looking for here on the keto diet is, I would say around 70% of your calories are going to need to be coming from um, fats. So that's about 70% from fats, and then I would say 25% um, of your calories are going to be coming from protein, and then a further 5% are going to be coming from carbs. So yeah that that food triangle that everyone's seen since they were they were a kid with the keto diet that's kind of turned on its head but that that is essentially what it is that is that's the basics of what the keto diet is so it will so its base will be fats uh, a lot of fats and then you'll have your your protein which will be moderate protein and then you'll have your carbs so it'll be it'll be very low in carbs so that is simply that is that's what um keto is Okay, guys. I think in the start, I was so um, so skeptical about how this keto diet was going to work. Like, I couldn't in the beginning really wrap my head around how eating more fat was going to help me lose fat. <laughs> like, when you say it like that, it's very hard to sort of think 
how's that going to work? Um, so I, th I think when you first start this diet, there is a lot of initial skepticism about it and you think you, you're not really too sure with how it's going to work. But I think when I was really, really big, I think in this picture I was over 300 pounds. So I think at that point, I was like, oh, I might as well try it, you know, and then and then it did end up working wonders for me. Um, but I, I understand if, if that's the position we're in and later in the video, we're going to talk about um, why that isn't really the case, how eating more fat is actually going to cause you to lose fat. But we'll talk about that later in the video. Um, but yeah, initially, I was incredibly skeptical about how this diet was going to work. I'm sure that's the same for you. Um, because what we've been taught since we were little is, you know, talking before about them pyramids, I think at the base you have your carbs. I think what is, what's been recommended to me since I was a kid, I think you're talking maybe 60% carbs, um, 30% proteins and then 10% fats. So you have that triangle and then keto turns its, on its head almost the, the opposite direction. Um, now I'm not saying that, you know, that ratio or that pyramid however you want to call it is going to be right for you that did end up working for me but i'm not saying that's right for you i think you have to go out and find out what ratio works for you and even if you are using keto it's important to know that everybody's metabolism is slightly different so some people may be able to get into ketosis that's the idea of this diet this is what keto is about um by having slightly different variations on that ratio that I talked about before but that's the basics so if you want to start there that's a fantastic starting point um, but some people can do it on slightly more carbs and some people also have to do it on slightly less carbs things like that but I mean yeah there's no there's no one right ratio whether that be the keto diet or whether that be something else I think only you can find out what works best for you and only you can go out and and find that out but yeah in terms of initial skepticism about this diet yeah i i can sympathize with you if that's what you're thinking because yeah initially i couldn't really understand how eating more fat was going to lead to me losing fat but it did so <laughs> so i'm incredibly grateful for that and yeah there's there is some science to it, and that's what we're uh, that's what we're going to get into now. Okay, guys. Now let's get into the science as to how and why the ketogenic diet works and how it helps you burn fat when you're consuming more fat. Which initially, to me, was I couldn't really wrap my head around it, but let's get into it now. Let's try and understand the science. Now, I'm going to break out the whiteboard so it's just a little bit easier to run through and talk about. So we'll skip to the whiteboard and then we'll get we'll get chatting about it. Okay, guys, so basically uh, calories are fuel for your body. Uh, but that fuel, that comes in two main sources, one of which is glucose, and the other is ketones. Now, the main one that most people uh, tend to function off is glucose. And that comes primarily from carbohydrates. Now, since glucose uh, is sugar, this is what's known as a sugar burning mode. Now, on the other hand, we have our ketones. Uh, ketones are produced when glucose levels fall and the body has access to stored body fat. Uh, when someone uses ketones as fuel, they are in ketosis, uh, which is a fat burning mode. And now uh, the body is using fat as a fuel source. So all that stored fat that I had built up over the years in this picture was now, uh, thanks to ketosis, being burned off. So. If you've got any questions, leave them down there in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But that is essentially the science behind it. Now, there's a, there's a lot more to it, but that is just a, a really quick rundown as to how it works and how it helps you burn fat. Again, any questions, leave them down there in the comments.
Okay guys, now let's get into some of the additional benefits of being on the keto diet, especially the, uh, the additional benefits that I found. Um, so first I want to talk about um, appetite. When you're on a high fat diet, because fat is very satiating, I found that my hunger levels were a lot lower when I was on keto to when I was just eating um, what I had before. And that really helped me with things like um, binge eating. Like when I was really overweight, um, I'd try diets that were really, really low calorie, um, but I'd be hungry all the time and maybe I'd keep it up for like two or three days and then just like collapse and just buckle and then I'd be in the kitchen and I'd be just raiding the covers in the fridge and I'd just eat like four, five thousand calories in one sitting and it was crazy and that was, you know, I had horrible periods of that of binge eating and, and being up and down and being all over the place. Um, but with keto, because you're on a high fat diet and fat is in and of very satiating, those hunger levels were uh, repressed so you didn't feel the need to go into the cupboard and to, you know, eat not a bowl but a box of cereal, you know, <laughs> things like that. You didn't, you didn't feel like you had to go in there or that urge to go in there and eat everything in sight that I used to have when I was this big um, you know and I'm, I'm sure if you are you know in a similar situation you're that big or you have a lot of weight to lose you've probably been in that position yourself where some days like you've had a bad day at work or, or wherever it might be and you're just using food as you know a comfort or or if you've been on a diet that's very restrictive you just all of a sudden open the cupboard and there's a few chocolate bars in there and then all of a sudden there's not chocolate bars in there because you've ate them all. Uh, <laughs> and um, I laugh but it's it's a bad situation to be in and binge eating is, is horrible especially when you don't know what you're doing with your diet and, and you're up and down and it's it's just it's it's really bad. Um, but yeah keto really helped me sort of suppress that binge eating um, because I, I didn't feel you know that I needed to do that or I wasn't hungry all the time um, which is what I experienced here um, but yes yeah, so it really helped me with that so feeling fuller for longer is definitely something that happened to me on keto and I'm sure it will happen um, for other people that try this this diet and if that's something you struggle with I'm sure keto can can help with that um, something about like, oh, mental clarity as well I think in the beginning, um, you hear a lot of people talk about keto flu, and basically what that is, is um, when your body starts to switch from using glucose as its uh, main source of fuel over to ketones, which is what we talked about earlier in the science bit, um, you may feel a little bit run down, excuse me, a little bit um, like you have small symptoms of flu, so you'll be a bit drowsy and a bit Oh God, and that puts a lot of people off, but that is only your body adapting to your new method of um, burning fuel. So you're going from your glucose into your ketones, and, and that period, I think for me, it lasted about a week to 10 days. Some people have that and are over it in a day or two, and some people a couple of weeks, but I think a week or 10 days is probably the normal. That's certainly what happened to me. Um, but then after that, I was, you know, my mental clarity went through the roof, I was a lot sharper between the ears if you like, um, yeah I didn't I didn't have you know as many headaches, there wasn't that brain fog, you know, it was a, it was a lot better, I, I woke up ready to sort of tackle the day, you know it's fantastic, I, I felt so much better when I was doing this, so that's another huge benefit of, of this diet, um, there are a couple more that I wrote down as well, um, Oh yeah, studies have shown that it helps improve your insulin levels and it helps reduce blood pressure, which again are both great additions and, and will improve your health overall. So, you know, it's got a lot going for it and again, it's all linked in the description if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, I found that my health was, was vastly improved um, following this diet. Okay guys, so did it did it help me? Would I recommend it? Um, 
yes, it helped me a tremendous amount. Um, it helped me lose a hundred pounds, um, and uh, I would I would definitely recommend this this diet to someone who was looking to lose, you know, a little bit of weight or a lot of bit of weight. <laughs> um, so yeah, it helped me lose a lot and and helped change you know my life and and my quality of life um you know i wasn't i'm not getting out of breath walking to the car in the morning before i go to work you know things like that that you you know you don't really think about you just you know it's just something that you have to put up with because you're so big and now i've lost that weight i don't have to do that and, and keto is a massive part of that and you know i can do things now i can I can go for walks, you know, I can appreciate, you know, the countryside around me and the surroundings, so I can just get out there and, in, and enjoy where I live, you know, little things like that, that, um, I think some people take for granted, it's, it's, you know, it's just amazing that I'm, I'm capable of doing that now, um, yeah, so, so, I would definitely recommend Keto, it's, it helped me no end, and I'm sure it can help, you know, other people too, um, one, one quick note, away from that <laughs> I got a massive smile on my face because um as you can see the the channel itself has just gone over um 100 subscribers uh <laughs> which is nuts I can I can remember you know and it wasn't too long ago that I was saying a huge thank you to the 10 people that have subscribed to the channel and um and how it was blowing my mind and it, it still just amazing every time I see that we've got a new subscriber it's it's incredible and now to know that we're over a hundred um it means that we you know we're doing something right or I'm doing I'm doing something right here and it's I'm creating content that people are engaging with and that are liking and, and sharing um so I'm, I'm just so pleased that you've chosen to be part of this small community that we're creating here on the internet and on YouTube and again I, I think I mentioned this in every video but I'm so so grateful to you and, and everyone in the comments how they're always so positive and encouraging of everybody you know you, it's a very very rare thing to find that on the internet um, a positivity and a little bit of love but um, you know we've created that here and I'm so proud to be a small part of that and, and you're an even bigger part of that because you've chosen to subscribe and to make this little community what it is and yeah, I'm I'm so so grateful to everyone who subscribes and to know that we've just gone over a hundred subscribers is is incredible. <laughs> it brings a massive smile to my face, a big old cheesy grin. So um, thank you for subscribing, continuing to subscribe, continuing to like, comment and, and share this this content. It's it's incredible. So yeah, I just wanted to take a moment just to thank you, the subscribers, because you know it blows my mind that people want to want to hear about my story and hear about my journey and and how I lost this hundred pounds and you know I'm doing it for you guys so I just wanted to thank you for for subscribing to the channel so yeah thank you um a bit emotional <laughs> I'm I'm Steve this is this has been life at the White House I'll uh, I'll see you again in the next one thanks guys hi guys thanks so much for watching the video if you did like it, please do drop a thumbs up down below. If you want to see more videos, click on the link on the left hand side. And if you've got any questions for me, leave them down there in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But apart from that, remember to subscribe and I'll see you again next time.